RPG of all time. That's a game that just soothes the soul, man. But we don't got none of that. Soul all right, so we got Pokemon man. Trainer versus one, two, three, two. Um, known very famously by their Hick Hick All Star game. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, Find me. Yeah. So here we go. <laughs> Have you ever played Find Me? I played Find Me too. So we got Kojam fighting off against Descole. Descole representing the me me Gunner, and then you got Kojam representing as Squirtle. Now. Now, the, the emphasis about the Miis in this game is that they have the ability to be able to equip any move. Uh, like, they have so many moves that they can, like, choose from. Like I said, we got one, two, three, two. So you decide what special moves you're going to be able to wreck with them. So the opponent has to, like, kind of adapt to what move they're... Okay. Yeah, here's the thing about that. Okay. You can change up their specials. You can't stop their normals from being average. And Me Gunner is definitely the one who sits with, like, the most mediocre of normals. Also, the fact that they're all, like, the perfect weight for being combo food. They're like just heavy enough, just big enough of a target. So Pokemon Trainer is able to pick apart Gunner with no problem. It's also gonna be difficult for Gunner to actually zone out two thirds of Trainer's kit. Cause Ivysaur can just duck under a lot of the uh, the short hop forward air pressure and stay away from the explosive stuffs. And then Squirtle doesn't have to respect it at all. Meanwhile, you got Descalade off stage against Kojam. And this is the thing that's going to be happening with the character, right? Pokemon Trainer likes to switch over to Charizard when they're super high percents like this. Now he's off stage. The thing is, Meanwhile packs a punch with this move, get, catches him with the blaster again, wasn't fully charged. And I didn't even see that. That was the slip. That was so small. It was the slip missile. Did you see how tiny that was? Yeah, man. That caught him off. It caught me off guard. It caught him off guard. And now the damage is starting to rack. That reached. Yes, yep, smash. I'm, just, I'm learning something. That. I'm learning something every day with this character. Okay, there, I mean, the thing is, no matter what you learn, down throw Vine Whip is still going to knock you silly. Yeah, obviously, we're still like a beast of character. Yeah. Forward air is such a good spacing tool because it's such a long range. It, it pops them up for a very good combo, whether it's going to be more damage right afterwards or just a free Vine Whip for the kill, as well as you can space it so well because of the long range. You see him retreating the forward airs as well. There we go, another grab, down throw, some great combos. Ivysaur's entire game plan is to try to get his opponent above him. Try to abuse that Vine Whip to his opponent. Forward, smash, just throw it out, punish that dash attack. It's so tiny. That, that, that the, shot can catch so many people off guard. Yeah, that's the gimmick, bro. But when you're boiling down gimmicks, I think it's safe to say that Ivysaur is the stronger of the gimmicks as so, this Ivysaur confirms game So, one. Hangman, how, how, how did all three of those stocks end? Can you tell me? Uh, we got grab, uh -huh. throw, up B. I don't know what that means. How about we just watch it again? So he ran up. There's he ran across the entire stage. He went for a very greedy option by going for a ledge attack. And Gojim just got, you know, he, he, he got the grab. Sent him flying. Sent him going bye-bye. Yeah, well, it's a cute gimmick to play the uh, meat gunner. Descoli one more time, helper. <laughs> one more time. Here we go. Once more for the culture. Once more. Wait, this is the, wait. these are three different kills you're telling me? Yeah. Watch this. Oh, we got the slow-mo. Gets the grab. Sees the shield. Body slams him. And here comes the fight. Ah. 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 Yeah. 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 Got him. All right, well, I hope Look you... Look at Ivysaur's face. <laughs> Look like, you know he's thinking, got him, just as planned. All right, Squirtle out as we start game two on Stadium 2. Well, while I do think this was a good pick as far as gunner stages go, giving Stadium 2 to Trainer is super dangerous. Like, this gunner is going to have to play a really heavy runaway game just to build up the damage. And then I feel like another issue with this matchup was Descalade trying to confirm the kills. That's hard enough as it is, unless you're going to continue to use the slip missile. But, like, I don't know. We'll see where it goes because he's built up plenty of damage early on. Okay, I mean, he's, he's controlling this stage extremely well this entire first stock. Kojam has been off stage. Descalade's been in his head. He's been able to catch every single one of these ledge options. And now, whenever Kojam's, like, hesitating, he's putting out these little mines out there that, like, are, like, ticking time bombs that will just hit him if he loses his invincibility while holding onto the ledge. So a fantastic start for Descalé. It's a lot of damage, but it doesn't mean anything if he lets Ivysaur back on stage, especially because Ivysaur gets to do this. Look how quickly he's been juggled to 71%. Now with Ivysaur in charge oh of the ledge. Oh, God, if you would have timed that better. Hold up, wants the Vine Whip. Good DI from Descalé. You saw him backing up because he knew he was looking for that up B kill. Forward smash, that better kill. Yes, sir. From the center stage, you better believe it. It's going to be Descalade finding himself with a lead for the first time this set. Looks like game two might be working out extremely well for him. However, this is just the first step in what's going to be a long battle for Descalade. Now taking advantage of the lead, he's able to play that keep away game with the projectiles. Doesn't have to worry too much about breaking off his opponent. 
And now the approach game from Trainer, it leaves a little bit to be desired. Squirtle's going to take a lot of heat trying to get in. And Ivysaur's not really able to win the zoning war with Razor Leaf. It's much better as just a hit confirm than a straight up projectile. Whoa, we are risking so much with that down air. Puts himself in a bad position to be able to have to recover back on the stage. So Desclade just gets yet another free forward smash. I feel like we're seeing the opposite of the last game. Last time we saw three down throw uppies. This time we see three forward smashes from Descalade. Yeah, like looking at why this is rolling so heavily into Descalade's favor, a lot of it has to do with the fact that he's taking advantage of the stage more. The fact that it's longer, he's playing the projectile game. I love that recovery. He's, he's super sick. smart about it. Oh yeah, there we go. Finally finding a kill. Kojam taking the first stock from Descalade. I was going to mess around with the Squirtle. Honestly, in my opinion, I feel like Kojima's best character is Ivysaur with a bunch. But hold on a second. Might be making me eat my words with this Squirtle combos going on. But again, Desclay trying to mix up the... I mean, honestly, I feel like he's getting away with a lot of these recoveries because it could be some matchup inexperience, right? Not many people know me Gunner inside and out. So might be tricking up with these upbees, trying to get back down on the ground safe and sound. More mines, more charges of the, the projectile shots, throwing out some more forward smashes. Look out. The distance so safe on that forward smash, especially because Descalade seems to be very aware of how far he can space with it. You know, we joke about the Miis as we come into the set, but Descalade does seem to be very well studied as far as what he's able to get away with with the character. And these smart recoveries, you brought it up earlier, but look at it again, Descalade just barely out of the range of up smash and it, up air, it, and oh there's God. nothing that this Ivysaur is able to do to really stop any of this vertical movement which is very rare because it's Ivysaur. Just point blank, man. Just shoot out that charge shot as he's laying back down on the ground because you know Kojam was watch this again, right? Kojam, I think, was looking for a potential air dodge when he sent him flying like that. And Disco is like, nah, son, I got a fully charged shot, baby. We You're not grabbing me. You're not day. grabbing me. You're not getting that down throw. You're not getting that up B. Look at him. He's in pure shock. He's in pure dead. One more time. One more time for the folks at home. He's falling down. He wants the grab. Oh, wait, wait, is that, he, that he was whiffed, a, that he whiffed was a down smash? No, I think it was a down smash. No, nah, he whiffed grab and started charging forward smash. Forward smash, ate a yeah. Fat projectile. He definitely went the grab. Yeah, he was, he was charging something. But you know what? Look at that. One face. more time. All right, Helper. Helper has way too much fun. Helper's with the definitely having all the fun you, with the tools. You, you see Devin when he plays with the slow mo, he just lets the replays go. Chris, He's very professional calculated. about it. He likes he likes he likes to be like ESPN levels. <laughs> Helper takes control. He just throws all these stupid ass replays. I'm a consummate place. professional, excuse me. <laughs> I, yeah, I love it, man. Here we go. Battlefield for oh, game oh, oh, three. Oh, oh, oh. Wolf? I mean, yeah, he's a good character. He is a pretty good character. Yeah. I'm not shocked at all. Kojam representing he's like, okay, I'm sick of playing around. Let's go. It's time to deal with the wolf, not McCloud. Wolf, wolf o O'Donnell. 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 That's like, I want. Everyone's McCloud in my mind, you know. They, they are. I promise you. Every, not everyone's related. related to the furry. I mean, so we got again <laughs> trying to like do these retreating forward airs, pushing them backwards, throwing out some more projectiles mid air. And honestly, I like that's why I was looking for that up smash on the ledge. It was a hair too slow? I guess maybe he thought that Kojan was just gonna stay still on that platform. But again. This might be a benefiting matchup for me, Brawler, if he ever gets Kojam off stage, right? Because these projectiles can be devastating if he manages to eat Wolf's double jump. Even on stage, this is actually not too terrible for me, Gunner. Most importantly, because he's able to navigate around Wolf's slower speeds. Yes, Wolf is able to like navigate effectively because of how large his hitboxes are and how much he's able to put out so quickly from dash attack and Nair. But Gunner doesn't actually have to worry about that. For once, their movement speed is decent enough. And then movement with the forward air uh, is really good for Gunner in this situation. Good pickup. He's trying to get that up smash by, you know, punishing that landing on the platform. And he just does it. We stay strapped in the streets of Philly. And honestly, you just, you just go for the double jump. The thing is, that's so risky for him to go for because if Kojam sees it coming, he could A, shield it and try to go for a punish afterwards because he's not going to regain his invincibility on the ledge, or B, reflects it right back at him. So, you know, Descoli putting the cojones on the stage. My God. I don't know if slip, the slip uh, missile can get reflected now that you brought up the reflector, and even though we don't get a chance to see it too often, this is definitely a matchup of Wolf is going to try to bring it up. Kojam has finally adapted to the way Descalay uh, bees back on stage, because if you see what's going on, Kojam always goes for like a very immediate hit whenever Kojam tries to recover on, trying to like get the two frame with down smash, especially with Wolf. But that time, Kojam was like, okay, you're going to have your fun, you're going to land right in front of me, and you're just going to take this boot up tilt. So now he understands that Desclay can no longer recover like that anymore. He's going to have to play a little bit more creative and try to like go for the mix up going for the ledge or onto the stage. 
Yeah, but it's still not that much even of a game. Desco only doing a great job of forcing the approach, and he's been punishing all these dash attacks masterfully. Even when he's in the corner, it feels like he's the one in control, especially with these raw forward smashes. Who does that? Who throws that forward smash in the corner? That's so risky, yet he connects it and gets a, confirm a kill confirm off of it while in disadvantage. Hey, listen, man, traditional zoning 101, you fight off the corner. He can't even you see. You fight from the wall. He can't even see those projectiles. You see that little, 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 little booby, yeah. booby bop? A little. <laughs> I call that. You. Yeah, no, what do you mean? <laughs> this is That's what the move's called. You go into the instruction booklet. It's definitely not called Booby Bop. Booby, need, booby Bop. I'm definitely going to need you to spell that after this match. Uh, B but you, you can't see it against the clear skies of Battlefield. Four Which smash. I feel like is helping even further. Because, like, now, I feel like Kojam is finding himself in this situation where he just wants to rush in. And that's the worst thing you want to do. You can't just rush down a zoner who's in the lead okay. like this. Hey. A zoner who's going to take the set. We it's like, crowd clap God, it. just give me, like, snake grenades instead, bro. No. I can't even see that joining. Obviously, Kojam couldn't. Kojam <laughs> taking away that first game from, De game from Descalade, just connecting all three grabs into an up B. Then Descalade, you know, you know, kept us cool, came back in, dominated, and Kojam trying to go for the Wolf. I don't know if the Wolf was, like, the right decision. I feel like he was doing okay with Pokemon Trainer. He just got a little bit outplayed in the previous game. And it did not work out. So Kojam's taking a trip down to losers while we got me, Gunner, extraordinaire from Descalay, moving on into winter semis of their respective pools. You know, man, I feel like if we see these me Gunners week after week, you might actually know 